Do you believe in God? It's not even a question. The better question would be, in what God do you believe in? And there really is only one answer. It's, it's actually very simple. So the God of this earth, of this universe, would never give us a religion because religion is a man-made concept. We decided to follow after certain things because of what we saw or what we heard. But the God of this universe, so majestic, so great, created everything so perfectly, would never create such a thing as religion. Religion is the number one problem on the face of this earth. And when we look at all these different religions to try to find some sense of the world, like who is this creator, this God, we can go to one person who's not like the rest. This man, he, he brings a government he brings this authority. He brings a solution to our problems. He comes to save us. He dies and then he resurrects. There's only one man who did that. And that's Jesus Christ, fully man, fully God, the incarnation of God. So next time someone asks you, do you believe in God? You let them know, of course. That is the wrong question to ask, because of course, there's no way there can't be a perfect designer. And so now the question becomes, who is God? And that is the God of the Bible who came as a man in flesh, as the man Jesus Christ. We got to stop with this religious thinking. Look at what Paul says. Be not conformed to this world. Now we got to understand something. That word world is the word cosmos. K-O-S-M-O-S. -O -O and this word is used all throughout the New Testament. And it means order of authority, a ruling authority, a government authority. And we know that in this world, the prince of darkness, this is ruled by the kingdom of darkness. And so we're dealing with a kingdom. And so he says, do not be conformed to this kingdom of darkness where they teach you how to think. They teach you how to live, how to respond. They have trained you. They have indoctrinated you to live and just continue on living in this kingdom of darkness. But Jesus came and he brought the solution. He brought his own kingdom, the kingdom of light, the kingdom of God nothing to do with religion he came to save us he's he's the only one that said that all your sins are forgiven he is our lord and our savior no other god no other prophet from any other of these man-made religions is like jesus because jesus isn't in that realm of religions he is the god he is the king of the universe, simple as that.